one of the biggest misconceptions that people um, have with their money when it comes to retirement. Some people think that when they, you know, have their last day of work and, um, you know, start commence their, you know, retirement phase of their life, that they should put all their money into cash or, you know, term deposits, sort of very conservative fixed interest investments because, you know, they don't have a salary anymore and they've got to be really conservative with their money so that it lasts, you know, as long as possible. And yes, um, there is an element of that which is most definitely correct. But gone are the days where, you know, our life expectancy was in our 70s and our, you know, retirement was only between 5 and, and 10 years long. You know, with modern technology um, and research and development, um, our life expectancy is a lot longer. And realistically, if we retire at age 65, we're most likely going to have a 20 or 25 year retirement. Now, if you were to put all your investments or all your um, money into a very conservative um, investment portfolio of cash and, and fixed interest investments, that would work and keep obviously everything you know n nice and safe for the short term. But the risk you run is with the cost of inflation, that is, you know, the cost of living increasing each year, your money could potentially actually run out and erode away, which would mean you potentially are left with no money at the end of your retirement, or even worse, during your retirement, and then having to lean on the government to support you. If you think about your retirement and being, you know, a very fruitful retirement, you know, one that's a comfortable retirement and that you want your money to, to, to go the distance and last as long as possible, you need to consider including some growth assets in your portfolio. Now, when I say growth assets, typically I mean, you know, domestic shares in the country that you live in, international shares and property. They're considered assets that, yes, are very volatile over the short to medium term, but history shows that the returns from these investments actually exceed or outperform the more conservative investments from things like, you know, cash and fixed interest and term deposits and, you know, corporate and government bonds. If your parents are about to retire and they're thinking they're going to put all their, you know, 401k plans or superannuation money or whatever your, the, your local, you know, pension or retirement saving system in, in your country, if they're going to put it all into to, you know something very conservative like a term deposit and they're planning on having a very long and enjoyable retirement make sure you get them to watch this video because they need to realize the importance of getting their money to love, to go the distance and last the long run and obviously the more risk you take obviously the greater return you should expect so therefore that money should actually provide a bigger and better passive income and mean that less of the capital is being eaten into which means the money lasts a lot longer so I hope this video is, makes sense to you